ดังทับกูใส่ใจเอ็มไม้ทัวมัดใส่เจ้าเงลาตูเมืองเซลมองกดโยดึงใจหุ่นหุ่นจอมาเทียนเศร้าเมื่อวันหายเมื่อเช่นหางลานยอปุยชิวงอยงามยิ่งเชียนเมื่อกว่าเจนบุกเจเนมงำทำลาโดจัดหงสายบวดจะไม่สอดสายชิวไหนก่อนเมื่อสาวเอ็มคำลายเยอะไหมจำกันแล้วบุยดูสาวก่อนยาวหันเล่นน้อยดาวเมื่อจนเอ็มสิ้นเดย์เมาเมื่อวันหายเมื่อจะเดยเบียนดาวลำสาวเฮมเยอหนิงดิชิมซีสิ้นหายจะเมื่อกว่าเมืองกันสาวตึงเลยฟิวละกุ้ยมัยละBeautiful song written by Jin Kam Son, who is an artist known by virtually everyone here in Vietnam. And it's my honor today to introduce the performer, Mr. Richard Fuller, who is an amateur singer, a translator, and also a very close friend of the renowned Vietnamese musician. Thank you for joining us today. I'm very, very honored to be here. <laughs> you did a wonderful performance, I must say. I wasn't uh, a close, close friend of Jin Kam Son. But. <laughs> A friend, nonetheless. Yes. A friend, yeah. A friend, nonetheless. He had many, many, many friends. <laughs> <laughs> he was a very popular man. He was. Yeah. Now, that rendition you just did of Zim Su, it was very, very emotional, and I could see it in your face. What kind of connection do you have with that song? It was the first Vietnamese song that I ever tried to learn. <clears throat> There is no one particular person involved, except that I was able to meet uh, Jin Gom Shun because of it. Mm. Uh, in the lot, some students mm -hmm. took me to his house, and so being able to talk about it with him, mm -hmm. and it made it very, very special. So there was this personal connection with the actual lyricist and the writer of the song, with which him, makes yeah. it makes it a personal connection for you. Now, how right. many songs by Jin Kam Sun can you sing? 
Um, maybe a dozen. A dozen songs. Now, out of Jin Kum Sun's songs, which one really won your heart? Uh, it would have to be Ngui Gong Gai, Vietnam, Nha Lan. And can you explain Girl a little bit why? The golden skin. It was the first of the um, peace songs, the Ca Khup Nha Lan, mm -hmm. uh, that I learned, and the imagery of it. The first I heard it because of Ken Lee, mm -hmm. uh, her role, um, because when I heard her singing both the love songs and the other, the other songs, it was the sound that affected me first before I even knew what they were about. Mm -hmm. And then when I asked people about them and found out what uh, Nguyen Cong Gai Vietnam was about, uh, there's something about it, and I feel that's the best translation I did. It was one of the early ones, and I, I think I got it. Mm -hmm. So are you say, you're saying that the connection it has with you is the fact that you translated from Vietnamese into English. Right. And uh, through the lyrics, would it, what kind of emotions did it bring out in you? Um, well, I already had them from the Vietnamese lyrics, mm -hmm. but it was the effect on English speakers hearing it in English and mm -hmm. their reactions to it. Mm -hmm. And that one, I would say, maybe conveys up to 70%. Perhaps. You can never really translate poetry. Right. But the images and the emotions are what I wanted to get and still keep the rhythm and, maintain. and the essence of what he did mm -hmm. and the way he did it. You had, have met Jin Kam Sun before. Yeah. And you actually have a special name for him. You just don't call him Jin Kam Sun, do you? But you didn't. Well, I referred to him as uh, An Shun, which is a brother, very personal. It's a personal, a personal. Well, we had, yeah, we worked calling. on the songs. Mm -hmm. he, I sang them for him in mm -hmm. English. And uh, he performed some. I have some pictures mm -hmm. that somebody took when we were together mm -hmm. uh, working on these. That was in 1993. We worked on them again mm -hmm. uh, in an attempt to end the embargo. Right. Uh, the songs never got out, but thank God the embargo, the embargo was lifted. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you tell us your most memorable moment with the famous composer? Uh, it was a Sunday night somewhere here in the city. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where it was. It might have been behind what is now Diamond Plaza. There's a place that looks Plaza. like it. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting together, and it was a night for him, for his music. And he asked me to go up and do a couple of his songs. Oh, wow. And I was scared to death. One of them was Nui Kong Gai Vietnam Nha Lang. I can't remember what the other one was. but um, We were shaken at that moment. Oh, yeah, I didn't know really he was going to do that. We were just sitting there, and there were other, other singers, How and he said, you go crowd? up and do it. Oh, you know, it'd be a couple hundred people, maybe. A couple maybe. hundred people. Richard is actually one of the few Americans out there, or anyone out there, who is recognized as a translator of Jin Kum Sun's lyrics and songs. So let's take a look at how that process goes. Late composer Jin Kum Sun is a legend in Vietnam's musical community. In his 62 years, he composed more than 600 songs, mainly about love, Lot, and his homeland. Not until after being honored with the World for Peace Music Award in 2003 was Jit Gunsen internationally recognized for his immortal antiqua ballads and beautiful lyrics. Richard Fuller is one of many people around the world whose hearts have been conquered by Jit Gunsen's songs. Richard loves the melodies and poetic words in each song by Jin Kung Sun. After listening Ziem Su in Dalat City 36 years ago, Richard immediately fell in love with it. He found more songs to listen to, learned the language to understand them, translate them, and share them with his fellow countrymen in the U.S. Through the songs, Richard understands the soul of Vietnamese people and is ready to support Vietnam in any circumstances. At the age of nearly 60, Richard remains reluctant to pursue a comfortable life in the U.S. to live in Vietnam and continues singing the songs with his Vietnamese friends. <laughs> So, Richard, what was the first song that you translated into English? 
um, girl of Vietnam was golden skin. Nguyen Con Gai Vietnam. Yeah, that was the first one that you that translated. Was the first one. And you know, that being the first one, how was the difficulty in it? What kind of process did you go through to translate? Um, that is true. The they're like soup. <laughs> um, you put the ingredients in, but you're constantly tweaking, uh, it. tweaking it. You find better words, better phrases, mm -hmm. clearing up mistakes. People point out things that mm -hmm. uh, that didn't mean that. It really meant something else. Mm -hmm. And over time, it cooks and comes out the way they have. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, actually, it was uh, just missing an accent. The one interpretation in Ngui Kong Gai, Vietnam, Nha Vang, Yêu Quê Hương Như Đã Yêu Minh. Um, could mean, I originally translated that as you love home as you love me, thinking Lin <laughs> was uh, Trinh Kung Shu. Uh, every, everyone I knew said, no, 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 it's not that at all. Mm -hmm. uh, then I said, oh, well then you love home as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, but of course that doesn't work. So in the end, we decided for you love home as you love your womanhood. Ah. Uh. I never had a chance to ask Jin Kong Shun whether he intended it that way. Mm -hmm. But if people interpreted it that way, I decided that since everybody seemed to agree, leave it. Leave it so that way. So these were some of the issues mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. So the version that you, the, uh, that you have currently, how do you feel about the, the accuracy and, and the, I, the I feel meaning? good about feel the, good the about seven that. that I translated, I feel good about them. Even though two were only two years old, mm -hmm. they're still fresh, mm -hmm. but I feel like they're they're setting pretty firm now. So you say that you just mentioned seven. You have seven yeah. songs that you've translated that total. Translated. And what are those songs? Um, you have Go, Go Gai Vietnam. Yeah, there's that one. Tin Ka Gung Lui Mak Tri, the love song of a deranged woman. Dai Bak Ru Dem, the lullaby of the artillery. Di Tin Kui Hương, which is, um, I can't remember what I called it because I don't sing it anymore. Um, it sounds like looking for your homeland. Yeah, or? I can't remember. It's on there somewhere. Uh -huh. Because I, I, I almost never perform it. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, let's see, that's four. Five is um, uh, Yatai Kuo Me, mm -hmm. a mother's heritage. And then the two new ones were the Ka Yao Me. Mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, what do we decide to call that? Um, a mother's lament. L lament. Mother's lament. A mother's lament. And the last That's one the last was Noi Vom Tai Lung, the Great Circle of Vietnam, which we'll hear at the end of the show. Yeah, we'll hear that at the end yeah. of the show. Now, at the moment, it's, you must have a very good command of Vietnamese in order to, you know, take these lyrics and, and translate them into English, as well as communicate with those who could possibly help you in the process. Is that right? Uh, fortunately, in 71 and 72, for the earlier five, mm -hmm. there were Vietnamese in the States who spoke English. Um, they disagreed with each other over the meaning. Mm. So the difficulty there was finding a level of meaning that everybody might agree to. Trinh Gong Shen was still alive then, and unfortunately, long distance phone calls were extremely expensive <laughs> to try to call back they weren't and as forth. Easy back then, yeah. From, yeah. Or anybody asked Trinh Gong Shen about the meanings of his songs, Trinh Gong Shen said it's like art, it means to you what it means. <laughs> you interpret it how you, you like. You have to, yeah. So I feel that. It he gave us that, but at the same time, I try to get into the background of every song, every incident, whatever they're singing about, to, to try to understand not just what the words are saying from mm -hmm. the dictionary, mm -hmm. but what's behind it as best as a foreigner can mm -hmm. do without being Vietnamese. That's right. And presenting that, and then Vietnamese people would agree that this is as close as it's going to get. Right. That's why I say it can't be more than 60 or 70%. You mm -hmm. just can't. There's so many things that are culturally bound. Yim Sua, I never yeah. translated, and I won't even try. It's too cultural. It's right. too, you have to know that situation. Mm -hmm. it's very the specific. scenes can be done, but uh, they, they won't evoke that kind of emotion mm -hmm. in other people, I don't mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. You chose to translate the Kup uh, Zavan, which is the, the yellow skin songs. Right. Can you, you translated those into English. Can you just kind of briefly explain those, why you specifically chose those songs? Yeah, that's what interested me. Um, about Trin Kong Sheng was um, when he died, I, I didn't get to see him in 2001. I missed him by two hours. I didn't know oh, about really? it. Oh, really? But I quickly went out and we had a wreath made. And the only thing I could think of was that he was the window for me into the heart of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It was through his, um, <clears throat> his portrayal of what was happening to people and to the country mm -hmm. at that time. Um, I mean, we could see it. I mean, we were living here, anybody who lived here. And that's why the Kakhoop Yavang, I wanted to take them home, get them into English mm -hmm. so that Americans, especially Americans at that time, could hear them mm -hmm. and feel more sympathetic with the Vietnamese people mm -hmm. and therefore put pressure on to end the war. At any time, did you get a chance to sing your songs that you translated in English for Jin Kum Sung, the composer? For him, yeah. You did? In 1993. And what was we that? We had a week together. What was his response? Um, the, uh, the pictures, or I think somebody <laughs> took pictures of the picture. You can see his face, the way he's... Uh, Smoking his cigarette. Always with his cigarette. <laughs> Um, but uh, he definitely, it wasn't just a polite thing because he invited me back and then there were other people who said, yeah, you got to hear this. And then so I went to a studio and made a tape for mm -hmm. him, dedicated it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's upstairs in his studio now. I think I saw it. Mm -hmm. But they say it's, it's damaged, that it won't play. So you mentioned that you did return in 2001. You returned to Vietnam in 2001, but unfortunately you missed Jin Kim Sun before he passed away by about two hours. Can you kind of elaborate more on that, on that experience, that event? Right. Um, when I was here during the war, it was with a group called the uh, Chinguin Quoc mm -hmm. or International Voluntary Services, mm -hmm. IVS was the acronym. And another IVSer had, had not been back to Vietnam since uh, 70, I think he left 72. Mm -hmm. His contract ended and he wanted to come back. So he flew out to Thailand and I brought him over uh, to Saigon. On the day I went to see Trinh Kong Shun, it was a Sunday, so I told Bill, you might as well stay in the hotel, there's no use to go out, it's not anybody you know, it's all in Vietnamese, you won't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So I found a, uh, a sick, was it a, yeah, we went by Siklo, a Siklo driver who knew where it was. And we parked the Siklo outside, walked down the lane, and there were all these people. I said, wow, look at this. He's still having parties, you know, still, just like before. Yeah. So I, I was really happy. I went in mm -hmm. and went inside the gate and turned to the first person I saw and said, is, uh, is An Sheng upstairs? And the guy turned to me and said, oh, no, you can't go. They haven't washed the body yet. That oh. was a shock. When? He said, oh, around 12, 1230. And it was about... 2.33 o'clock, oh, so later. I realized I'd never get to see him again. Oh, we, yeah. we couldn't talk about, uh, then it would have been 8, let's see, 93, 2001, eight, eight years. It must have been a dream I said, but no one I had heard. Richard often warms up his English class by singing Chit Kung Sun's songs in English with them. With patience and care, he teaches them how to pronounce each word and how to sing the songs. He wants to do some jobs at the same time, teaching students English and sharing with him the love for Chit Kung Sun's songs. After teaching English in Ho Chi Minh City for nearly 10 years, he has had many students who can sing the songs in English with apparent ease. After an hour learning, the class ends with another song. Richard says he will further the work of translating Chick Thompson's songs and teaching more students for the rest of his life. And like that, you'll be able to uh, improve pronunciation. Translating songs into English, it's, it's actually a very good way to encourage people to learn how to speak English. I mean, it's, it's more of a fun way of, of doing it. And, you know, will you be 
I'm just wondering if you're going to continue translating these difficult songs that Jin Kim Sun has into English, kind of encourage that type of it, that training and education. Um, actually, I hadn't thought of it for education, translating new ones. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones I'd like to do because of the philosophy he has, which to me is a cross between Buddhism and nihilism, mm. are songs like Gakbui mm. and uh, Mok Mokoi Dive, mm. those two. And because of its intensity and beauty, Bien Nhu, which I haven't really finished in Vietnamese yet. I'm going to try it later. Working on it, though. But, uh, yeah, because of the, uh, the way it's composed and the images, what he does with it, it's a tour de force. Mm. It's an incredible piece mm -hmm. about, you know, everybody misses their girlfriend going away. Mm -hmm. But, geez, the way he puts it, <laughs> the, you know, the mountains, the sea, the sand, <laughs> the, the whole everything's world going to miss stops. you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, and it's the, uh, just the, again, the, the imagery of it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go out to Queen Young, mm -hmm. where it was written. And uh, jokingly, I was interviewed by Tan Niem earlier. And I half-jokingly said, I want to find that mountain that's leaning, you know. Do we know we need to And I wondered, is there a leaning mountain? There is one near Da Nang, I remember. Mm -hmm. So maybe there is some in Queen yeah. Young. Now, after all this experience and, and all these things that you've done with Jin Kum Sun's songs, are you going to kind of compile it onto the CD? Do you plan on doing anything of that sort? Just it's uh, just an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, is there idea. is a place on my website where I recorded them at home, three of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the website, I think, will be shown in the subtitles for this. Mm -hmm. um, on there are the lyrics in both languages mm -hmm. for three of them, and the three of the songs themselves that you can download mm -hmm. and then hear them in English. Mm -hmm. So that's where it's at now, and I'm hoping somebody somewhere will hear them and say, yeah, let's do something let's with do that. Let's do something with this. So that's where it's at now. Well, it seems like you're still working on a lot, so does it look like you'll be staying in Vietnam for much longer? I'd like to. I'd like to stay the rest of my life if they would let me. Oh, that's wonderful. That wonderful family and keep here. on working. Keep on working on what you're doing. Keep, uh, well, it would be an absolute shame if we were not to have you perform again for us before the show ends. So before I let Richard say goodbye for us here at Talk Vietnam, if you're more interested in his website, it's uh, www.cycling-vietnam.com slash songs.html. Go the, to that website, check out his lyrics and his songs and the translated words. So. Well, Richard, I think we're going to have to have you take us out with another one of your songs. And if you'd like to introduce your accompanist who you have helping you out with the guitar and harmonica, please go ahead and do so. Thank please. you. I, I'd absolutely love it. I'd be honored. I'd like to introduce my friend and accompanist, Mr. Tabin, who does the most, to me, the most beautiful um, renditions, instrumental renditions of Jin Kong Shun's songs. And so I've asked him to uh, play.
bàn tay nghe ngóng tin xa ngày mai em đi thành phố mà đêm đêm vàng nghe trời Ngày mai em đi thành phố mà đêm đen vàng, nếu bóng xuân qua ngập ngừng, nghe trời ra lòng mà thương. I'd like to introduce a song. Uh, that was a vision that Chen Kung Sheng had back in the 1960s when the war was raging uh, called the Great Circle of Vietnam and two years ago with the help of a number of people I was able to translate it so I'd like to do it first in English and then in, we'll do it together in Vietnamese the Great Circle of Vietnam from jungle hills to the distant sea, we form a giant circle to unite our country. From far and wide, we now return with joy like a sandstorm to the far horizons. Let's now join hands, a great circle of Vietnam. Flags in the wind, happy nights and days Of one blood our hearts ablaze Reconciled a new day Hamlet town now joined as one Remember the dead as we bask in the sun And one by one we spread our smile From north to south we all join hands From fields long abandoned To mountainous lands We'll pour deep streams, climb over hills From hamlets to the cities we embrace with glee An eternal circle, dead and living one are we Xin hui giang tai no we lai bian sa Ta di bong ta lern mai de no we sân ha Ma tin da tin bao la Gặp nhau mừng như báo cát quay cuồng trời rộng bàn tay ta nắm nỗi tròn màu vòng Việt Nam cờ nỗi gió đêm vui nỗi ngày đồng máu đồng hoài tình người trong ngày mới thành phố nỗi thơm xa vơi vơi cười trên nỗi linh thiêng bao đời và nụ cười nỗi trên môi từ bắc bộ nam nỗi liền nắm tay ta đi từ đồng hoang vu vượt hết núi đồi vừa thác treo leo tại ta vượt đèo từ quê nghèo lên phố lớn nắm tay nỗi liền tiền xanh sông ngắm nỗi liền một vòng từ sinh Thank you very, very much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you all for coming, for being part of this. I wish that An Sheng could be with us to see that uh, his memory is still with us all, and as long as we sing his songs,